Hey, what's up you guys? This is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays, and today's video is going to be a tad bit different. I've been getting a couple questions in game about when I stated that the viral element wasn't going to get you the best damage versus armor specific elemental combos such as corrosive and radiation. Now, although I already put up clips to show the difference, some people are still citing other sources such as the wiki, codex, and other YouTube channels saying that viral should get you the best damage. Well, there's a saying that I use frequently in everyday life that I think applies well in this situation. Simply put, picks or it didn't happen. So while I kid around a lot, I definitely don't talk out of my ass. You want picks? Well, here they are. So in the first set, we're going to be taking a look at level 24 Elite Lancers. As we can see from the Codex, we're supposed to be able to do an additional 75% damage to them with both Viral and Radiation elements. For this, I wanted to aim for Leg Shot, so the damage is consistent. And, as you can tell, I'm doing consistent 1,203 points of damage. You can even see the Viral proc going off to confirm that I'm not a big smelly liar. Now let's take a look at Radiation damage. Again, Leg Shots and a Radiation proc to confirm. With this combination, we're doing consistent 1,659 points of damage, which is over 400 more points than the Viral. While this may not seem like much, when you start factoring in crits and headshot multipliers, there's a larger difference. So let's take a look. With the Viral combo installed, we're doing consistent 3,971 points of damage on leg shots. But with the Radiation combo installed, we're doing 5,476 points of damage, which puts Radiation ahead by 1,505 points, and that's not even a headshot. Now let's take a look at something a tad bit more stompy. The Corrupted Heavy Gunner is supposed to have a 75% weakness to Viral and Corrosive, so let's jump in with a pair of Fang Primes. Now in the first set, we can clearly see that Viral Damage deals a consistent 433 damage per strike to a level 34 Corrupted Heavy Gunner. Now on that same gunner, when we equip the Corrosive Elemental combo, we're doing 682 points of damage, which puts us ahead by almost 250 points per strike. But what we have to remember is that every time you hit the melee key, the Fang Prime actually strikes the enemy three times. So Viral would do 1,299 points per press, while Corrosive would do 2,046 per press, putting the Corrosive build ahead by almost 750 points. And with how fast the Fang Prime is, as well as a Fury and a Berserker mod, within a few seconds that can add up exponentially. So my best advice when modding is to completely ignore Viral and put a Corrosive combo on a weapon that you can use to clear out lighter armored Grenier, and then put Radiation on something that you can use to quickly take down Bombards and Napalms. You know, we do have multiple weapons for a reason. Now I did test this out on other targets, but frankly I didn't want to have to edit that much today, so for those who are curious, I'll leave more comparisons in the description box. And let's just pray that DE doesn't decide to modify damage types again anytime soon. Well, that's all for me. I hope this helped you out and clarified the difference between viral, corrosive, and radiation. If it did, be sure to do the thing that I ask you to do at the end of every video. So, as always, stay tuned for more gaming content here at A Gay Guy Plays. Now whose baby do I need to sacrifice to get a Dr. Prime Blade? Cause I'll do it. I'll do it.